very much indeed for both uh, for being here today. And um, that trophy in between the both of you, that um, obviously means a great deal to you, John. First and foremost, what does it mean to you? Well, I mean, it was, it was uh, the highlight of my playing career. Um, funny season for me, though. But uh, you know, in the end, I I, I did play. So that, you know, it, it's a. Uh, the, you know, to get promotion and win the League Cup in the same season was tremendous. Yeah, because you played 368 games famously successfully, uh, successively, uh, but then broke your arm at Hartlepool. So you did miss most of that season. So how did that feel? Not very good, to be fair. As uh, I played at Torquay in the first round, next the next week uh, I broke my arm at Hartlepool away, uh, and a certain person missed that game because he was injured. And I blame him because he said he looked after me anyway, so he wasn't there to look after me. So um, and then I didn't come back till the January, um, and then I got back in the side, and uh, it was a, uh, a decision Danny would have had to make if Owen Dawson had been fit, because he played the other eight, I think. Um, so really, it, it it was a great season, but I missed half of it. Well, John, we have to ask you about. Not looking after him then. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? Well, obviously it was me that was missing. It's why he broke his arm. You know, told him that he came back. <laughs> I wasn't looking after him that day. So it's amazing how that happened, though. So we played together for so often, and then I was missing, and he broke his arm. Amazing. Because Roger, who we spoke to just now, and, and, and you two came right through the ranks here at Sunderland, didn't you? You were oh you know, yeah, quite a Burt Head sort of babes all that kind of. We all came through, yeah, from 15, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that meant a lot that season to you. I mean, that's what most clubs should be trying to do that, really. If the more local players you can get, the better. You get more supporters, everybody knows everybody's it's so much better. But, I mean, he was probably lucky because he had a lot of very good players come through at the same time. Six, seven, eight young players, all good. Good enough to play a lot higher. I spoke to you about this before, but you've said it made your life. I mean, do you ever get fed up? Never, never. What are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, the, uh, yeah, the. Um, I get it. I don't know. Maybe once, twice a week in, in the shop still. People always want to talk about that. Always. That will never go away. Most people have highlighted their life more than us. Supporters talk about it more than we do. Well, it is. I can tell you that somebody was there. Um, let's talk about your sec your first goal because the second one gets a lot of attention, of course. Yeah. But the first one, there was a great deal of skill in that because you dug it out of that mud heap that was Wembley. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, um, I think there was a lot. There was a lot involved with that goal. Yeah. I mean, it's it was it was a miss kick to start with, and I've dragged it across on my right foot and hit it first time on my left foot. So it was not. You know, it was a better goal than what it seemed. And how did you feel scoring at Wembley? Oh. <laughs> I don't know really. It's, I don't think it's a matter of score, it's a matter of we were winning. It's all that mattered. You know, and it's like the third goal which you'll go on to is all right, one a great one to watch. But what it meant was that we'd won the curl. That's all that yeah, we'll talk about that third goal in a minute. John, obviously a lot of work to do in defence. Peter Downsborough, magnificent in that game. Yeah. Just uh, following the first goal he missed control he didn't move it to his own foot. I heard that one. <laughs> he was far away. Uh, yeah, I, to, to be honest, it, it, you know, it's uh, it, Peter Danger was magnificent the first 20 minutes. Uh, John Radford was on the right wing. I didn't see him. You know, he got so many crosses in, and it was Frank and Stan and Peter Danger, Rob Thomas, who, you know, uh, and I gradually got older a little bit. So, uh, yeah, it was. You know, the, the two wingers were, were good in them days. Uh, Armstrong on the left as well, but Rod had him in his pocket as he usually did. So, you know, it, uh, it was hard for me anyway, you know. Um, but, you know, these, these Don got two and Roger got one, so they, they uh, pulled us out of the car. And certainly Peter Downford did in the first 20 minutes. That third goal then, Don, obviously. Roger puts you away. Yeah. Um, you're well inside your own half. I always remember famously Brian Moore in the commentary saying, and he's on the side, which you were. That's right. Really. Yeah. 
Um, and then the moment when you dip the shoulder, go around Bob Wilson in the back of the net. Wonderful moment for all of us, but for you, relief. Oh, it was relief, yeah. In a lot of ways, now, now we look at it again, uh, the last time I looked, I looked at the pitch was bumpy all over the place, but where that ball went, it went on a flat bit. You could easily have gone, <laughs> stuck it, have gone elsewhere, but as lucky it went on a flat bit and went in the back of the net. Which, great feeling. Yeah. Um, John, afterwards, when it's gone, the final whistle, which is seconds after the goal, obviously, yeah. how did you feel? Well, obviously, you, like Don said, as soon as he scored the third, you know, we we knew we'd uh, we'd won it. So, I mean, tremendous. And uh, you know, having not played it in in that fr in front of that kind of crowd, you know, it, and then obviously all the players were just so so up, you know, and uh, celebrated with the supporters. And the day after, Don, there's a famous picture of you watching it on the television. Yeah. Before the reception and the town hall. Yes. Yeah. And then you go out on the balcony, and there's. Well, you see what it means. It's packed, jam-packed. Although, I mean, the days after that was probably better than leading up to it, for sure, afterwards, because everybody wanted to take the streets of Swindon. That's when we went down in the coach. Bus. It was wonderful, that. You don't forget things like that, especially the town hall, because there's a lot of pictures of that, with all the people there and watching and everything. But, but you probably don't appreciate that around that time how much it meant to people. I do now. Well, talking to old people like me, you realise, I hope, how much it means. Well, there's so many people talking to me about it all the time in the shop. They all want to, if they're over, if they're over 60 or something, you can guarantee they're going to talk about the League Cup. Marvellous. And of course, John, then the team went on to gain promotion. So it wasn't yeah. just a one-trick pony. It was a whole season, wasn't it? Yeah, that, that, that's uh, what I said. The, the main thing was getting promotion, really. Um, the League Cup, you can say it was a bonus, but... Uh, to do it um, and as I said I only played half a season that year so uh, I was really grateful that I was back in the side for um, the final and, and, and getting promotion but well, sorry for Owen Dawson because he played half a season as well so you know somebody's uh, unfortunate thing is, is somebody's fortune <laughs> which was mine in that, that instance. And then, of course, it leads on to other great success, the Anglo-Italian Cup, you play yeah. Juventus and people like that. Who would have ever thought that would happen here? Well, that, that was as a good a performance as the League Cup final, winning that. Because we'd probably be as good a team, if not better teams, to win that tournament. And, of course, also, they gave us the game against Roma, yeah. home and away, because we got they wouldn't let us play in the Fairs Cup or whatever it was, so they gave us that game, and we, we won that as well. So. We had a great time around there. Gentlemen, enjoy the day. Thank you very much. Absolutely.